If you got some stamps of China, you may probably see some numbers at the bottom of the stamp. What do the numbers mean? Let's talk about the numbering system of China stamps in this episode. Last year, I made a video about the Chinese zodiac stamps, and I promised I will make more videos about the stamps of China. And it has been more than a year, and I'm sorry, but better than ever. Okay, about the numbering system. And first, let's take a look some stamps. Here are the stamps for the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics last year, and a miniature sheet. Three sets of stamps here. In the bottom left corner of a stamp, there is a 2022 heaven four, which means the fourth set of 2022. And in the bottom right corner, there is a two heaven one for the first stamp and two heaven two for the second stamp. These are the set information, which means the first and second stamp in this set. And the letter J is for 纪念邮票 which means commemorative stamp in English. The numbering system is very easy to understand, but this is not the end of the video. The current numbering system has been used since the year 1992, but the earliest numbering system can be traced back to October 1949, the founding of the People's Republic of China. So, actually, the stamps we are talking about in this episode are the stamps used in mainland China after the year 1949. Before I talk about the numbering system in detail, let's figure out the types of the stamps of China. There are three types of numbered stamps. Commemorative stamps, special stamps, and the special issues. And commemorative stamps are issued for some events or anniversaries which have to be celebrated on a certain date or in a certain period. For example, the Olympics. And the special stamps are issued for something you can celebrate at any time, such as some uh, classic novels, such as the journey to the west, and some tourist attractions. The Chinese zodiac stamps are special stamps, not commemorative. Maybe you think they should be commemorative because uh, they are for the Chinese New Year, but in fact, the same is the zodiac sign, so they are special stamps. And the third tab and the special issues is a relatively new concept which has started from the year 2000. I will talk about that later. All these three types stamps are in fact commemorative stamps in the broadest sense, as opposite to the definitive stamps. So let me clarify that the commemorative stamps I mentioned in this video are commemorative stamps of China. The first stage was from 1949 to 1967. We call the stamps Lao Ji the old commemorative and special stamps. The first stamps issued by the People's Republic of China were commemorative stamps, and the first set of special stamps were issued in 1951, the national emblem. The information in the bottom left corner it starts with the Chinese character Ji for 纪念邮票 or commemorative stamp and Te for 特种邮票 or special stamp. The character is followed by the serial number of the set and the set information. For example, 41 means the first stamp in the full stamp set. And, and there is a stamp serial number in the bottom right corner. And from 1952, the year of issue was added following the stamp serial number. These stamps seem to come up with their own catalog number, which is handy for collectors. And from the last commemorative and special stamp in that stage, you can guess that there are 406 old commemorative stamps in 124 sets, and 444 special stamps in 75 sets. The Cultural Revolution was a very special period in modern Chinese history, and many things were changed, including philately. And stamp collecting was not encouraged in that period, so the numbering system was once abolished. A good example of stamps in that stage uh, was the one 
which only had been distributed for half a day. The whole country is red was issued on 24th November 1968, but had been withdrawn due to the map problem. The stamp is very expensive and occasionally appears in the auction market. The numbering system was reintroduced in 1970, but was much simplified. Only the serial number of the stamp is in the bottom left corner, and the year of issue is in the bottom right corner. And 95 stamps from 21 sets were issued in that period, but on a stamp, you cannot get which set is it from. Stamp issued at that stage are also collectible, uh, because most of the stamps were used, the mint ones can be expensive. The numbering system was completely restored in 1974, and this system is very similar to the one used in the first stage. The Chinese character T was replaced by the Latin letter J for commemorative stamps. The character T was replaced by the Latin letter T for special stamps. And the stamp serial number was abolished as it can be very big, so only the year of issue is still in the bottom right corner. And there are 185 sets of J stamps and 168 sets of T stamps. The most famous stamp in that stage is the Red Monkey stamp issued in 1980. The set serial number is T46. The numbering system was last adapted in 1992, and the old format of the set serial number were abolished because um, the number would only get bigger and bigger. The new format of set serial number um, is combined with the year of issue. For example, the first set in this stage is 1992-1, and the last set in 1992 was 1992-20, but in the next year, the number restarted uh, from 1993-1. The other difference is that there is no separate numbering system for J and T stamps. For example, 1992-4 is a set of T stamps, but 1992-5 is a set of J stamps. The set serial number is in the bottom left corner, and the set information and type of the stamp are in the bottom right corner. And let's go back to 1992 one. It's the 1992 year of the monkey stamps. And it's a very important set of stamps in China's postal history, not only because of the new numbering system. And in that year, the name of the postal administration was simplified from People's Post of China to China Post. And the English word China first appeared on the stamps. And also, there are the first stamps in the second series of the Chinese zodiac stamps. And also, this was the first set of stamps issued in the year I was born. Um, but due to the large number of stamps were issued, this set of stamps are almost worthless. Usually, at the end of a year, you can get the stamp issue plan for the next year and also includes the uh, serial numbers. But sometimes, some unplanned stamps are issued, and these are the third type of the numbered stamps, the special issues. The first special issue was issued in 2000, and the latest one was the COVID stamp, the 11th set of the special issue. The character 2 for special was used in the serial number. Um, but this will not be confused with the older special stamps, as you can easily distinguish them by the year of issue and the style of the stamp. Okay, these are the numbering of China stamps. Hope that's clear for you. I used to think about what if the stamps of UK also have that kind of numbers. For example, I like the Peppa Pig stamp. And there is a year of issue on the stamp, but only visible under UV light. And it is from a set of classic children's TV. And I'm not interested to get the other stamps in that set, but 
then there is not much information on the stamp. I can pretend to think that uh, this is the only stamp in the set. But if there are numbers like that on the stamp, I would probably want to get the whole set. And that's how the numbers encourage us to collect stamps. Tell me what do you think in the comment section. If you like this kind of video, I can talk more about the stamps of China in the future, as such as the stamps without the number. And I promise you don't have to wait another year. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and follow me on social media if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.